Hey, how are you doing? I hope that the audio quality is really good because I am now doing my vlogs from home. Just because I started my new job, I'm, you know, I'm really occupied at lunch. I got a lot of stuff going on all the time. Today was a really busy day, so um, yeah, that's pretty much what I've been what I've been doing. I haven't had a lot of time to do any of my side projects, and as you can tell, I I reorganized my entire office last night. I just felt like I needed more space. So um, yeah, that's what I did. I reorganized everything, created way more space here because I'm gonna be doing a lot of work here. And um, yeah, I need more, more room. So, and I'll be recording my videos from here. Um, other reason why I redid all this is I am, as you know, I'm working on my video course. So yeah, that's still going on. It's it's pretty cool having a, a you know a real like developer job now you, you know I was I was working part time remote I guess it wasn't part time it was real <laughs> I was, it felt part time but I was working full time remote but um, you know it just wasn't at the level that I'm I'm, I'm at right now uh, I would say this is like a very serious you know professional developer environment that I'm working in so that's really exciting it's really cool uh, you know our the code base I'm working with is huge and it's just like you know, anything else now, it's, you got to take it one, one day at a time, one step at a time and work through little problems and try and, I guess, you know, try and find areas where you can, where you can be productive in what you can do. Um, so yeah, that's, that's just my goal for the next couple months is just try to understand the code base, contribute as much as I possibly can and produce results. That's all I really care about. And it's not really different from anything else I've ever done, you know, like, just three months ago, I was unemployed and God, it felt like I had to turn the world on its head. Honestly, it, it was, it was pretty difficult, but you know, it's, it's great because I learned how to, you know, toughen myself and I feel like I deserve to be where I am right now. And it's, it's interesting though. Cause like, I doubt that anyone follows anything on LinkedIn. I read these things on LinkedIn called the daily rundowns. And I'm always at like odds with the author and what they're saying. Like yesterday, you know, the thing is they always like say something that's like very like catchy and like kind of, kind of true, but it just sounds like catchy. And then you look at these comments from people on LinkedIn and you're like, are you just a, like the most agreeable person ever? Like the, the thing that they posted on Sunday was that mistakes are great because you learn from them. And I'm like, that's wonderful. And you know, as a, a leader in technology, yeah, I, I, I wanna make mistakes and you know, hope that I learn from them, but I know people who've made mistakes who didn't learn from them. Like, honestly, I would try to mitigate mistakes as much as possible and try and be productive and produce results. So I don't know, there's a lot of, a lot of hype around that right now. And I guess I wanna be the type of person who is going against the current when it comes to that because I would like to see people avoid making huge mistakes. I think what's happening is people, really successful people, say stuff like that and then people extrapolate that to their situation. They're like, oh, it's okay for me to fail algebra. You know, Einstein sucked at math. No, that's not true at all. Actually, he was prolific. He was prodigal in mathematics. He failed because people were jealous of him. There were other situations going on. So it's like, I, I just, I feel like sometimes those things are abusively uh, extorted. And so I, I think it's kind of like, maybe, um, you know, if you're gonna say stuff like that, like you really should look into why a person failed. I think that is actually a very good lesson. You know, there's a lot of people who have failed um, and you can you can learn you can see what they did, why they failed, and how they got better, and apply that to your situation so you don't have to fail as many times. Um, like another thing is people in software are always like preaching, just go build it. Well, that's a, there's a lot of crappy software out there now too. <laughs> like, just go build it. Well, what if you don't know what a pointer is? And what if you don't know architecture? And what if you don't know object-oriented programming? And like you make these things that are just spaghetti code that then people have to deal with. Like, it's not good either so I don't know I'm kind of at odds with all that stuff I think that there's 
amount of risks that you should take in life, but also be really productive. And so, you know, like in my job, I'm not going to just be like, let me, let me see what I can do. Like, let me go change all of the code and this thing needs to be fixed. Like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to just chop trees down and possibly like, you know, cut down an entire forest. I'm going to be like diligent in what I need to do and uh, learn in these next, these next couple months, learn really well. Cause I think that I work with people who are very skilled at what they do and they're more skilled than me. So it's time for me to work towards getting to their level. That's what, that's what I'm really excited for. But yeah, that's my two cents is just be patient. I think that would be a really, a much better motto than, you know, fail at everything. I think a much better motto would be just be patient in what you have to do. I think sometimes it's so discouraging to be like, it's not going to work out. You think about the scale of time and how long we're here and like, just got to be patient because honestly, if we do anything for 10 years, like, it doesn't matter what it is. If you do it and if you do it for 10 years and you try really hard. Because there's other people who just, you know, do it for 10 years and they're doing it part-time. They're not taking it seriously and nothing's going to really come from that. But if you take it very seriously for 10 years, gosh, I don't know. There's probably stuff you could convince me about, but the things that I'm thinking about, like 10 years of reading math books, 10 years of programming, 10 years of engineering, 10 years of, of developing electronics, 10 years of anything technical or difficult. I guess that's because that's who I am, but maybe 10 years of writing. You just did 10 years of that consistently every day. I guess maybe you might fail, but like it, it sounds like it would be really hard for you to mess that up. It sounds like if you did it for that long, you would be, a, you would have, uh, you know, you'd be a pretty valuable person. And beyond that, like the thing I'm always saying is if you did that for 10 years and you're really patient, that would probably change you as a person because I found that being consistent in things is really forced me to become a type of person that like just plays out in my life weirdly like I'm very weirdly consistent about coming home taking care of my dishes helping my girlfriend make dinner making food for the week and I really wasn't like that until I started getting really consistent about getting up very early and um I had a hard time like you know, just, you know, like saying, like, I'm going to do it every week. And I started, um, I mean, one really good example is like, I'm, you know, I just, I posted on Instagram every time that I sat down to study for that exam, which I'm taking in one week. That's an example where, you know what, if I fail, great, I gave my best shot, but you know, I'm taking it in one week. And I, I think that a lot of it had to do with the fact that I was taking photos of it and putting it out there. So, you know, people are going to expect me to finish that. Um, but it's like this vlog, you know, I, I, I feel like I'm dedicated to having to develop these projects that I've put out there because it's going to be really embarrassing if in five years someone comes back and they look at this and they're like, you never finished it. That would be, de that would be really devastating to me. So I don't know, I guess, I guess that's what this vlog is really focused on is I started my new job and nothing is changing. I'm going to be consistent as hell. And that's how I'm, I'm going to produce results is just be very, very consistent in everything that I do and always trying to find a way to move forward. Um, I think that really sums up like the, <laughs> the change in where, I, you know, where I've gone in my life in the past few years. It's crazy to think like, literally like basically failed all stem related classes in high school and now that's what i do like if you would have asked me where i would be in 2019 i never would have said here never nope it's pretty crazy but i think that um a lot of it comes from just being really consistent and everything. Part of it about, you know, just 
wanting to prove people wrong. So that's cool. But yeah, I'm really, I'm really tired. It was a long day. I had to look at a lot of stuff, and I, I don't know. We'll see how far I can get with um, <laughs> this uh, video editing software. It's very difficult to actually make this into an application that like other people will be able to use. For me. Like, I'm okay with the command line and all that stuff, but, you know, I want to make a, a really cool application. So, I was going to be doing tonight, but nothing is really changing, and, yep, new, new place for my blog. So, I hope you all enjoy it. Have a good Monday.